Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you the very basics that you will probably need to have in order to set up your club page if you're a club um, sponsor at your school. Um, so the prerequisite before you're ready to do this is that you already have an account set up so that you can log in to your school's Blackboard site and get to your, your club page. So if you don't have an account set up yet, you'll need to get with a webmaster at your school to make sure that's done. Um, but once you have logged in with your account, you should be able to look over here to these options on the left. So you should see an option that says clubs, or that may be the only thing that, that pops up for you. Um, if you have several options, then I would click on the club option, um, and then you'll see a listing of all of the clubs that you sponsor. So I have several listed here. You'll probably just have one or two. Um, so I'm going to click into the Lego Robotics Club because I have that one already set up. Um, just to kind of show you some basic things that you can do, but you'll click into your club name. You may need to click the name twice to get to the page. Um, and then once you are in your page, it's going to look something like this. This is just the edit editor's view, so you can change things around in this view. You probably already have some preset apps, kind of a preset template built for you, and you can leave those if you like them and just edit those that are already there for you, or if you want something different, then you can change to something different. For example, you probably have a content app here. Um, you may have one over here that says announcements and you may want to change that if you don't like it. I changed mine to content because I kind of like the way the content app works better. Um, so before you start playing with apps though, you may want to make sure you don't want to change the layout. Over here on the right, you can click the layout option and you're going to see several different templates that you can choose from for the layout of your club page. The only thing I would say is if you're planning to put in pictures or um, a video or anything like that, um, you may want to make sure you choose one of these layouts that gives you one of the wider columns um, to work with because these small columns, pictures, um, don't fit in those as well. It may, it may cut off part of your picture or video. Um, so once you have your layout selected, you can go back over to apps. Um, I just did the basic um, information about my club in this first big content box. When you click on the pencil, it's going to open it up for you so that you can type in whatever you'd like to have there and then click save. Once you've saved it, you can X the box out and it will stay there. Um, I have an image box here. Yours may be preset to a gallery option. If you want to change to a different app, all you have to do is click it and pull it over. So if you want to put an image in or any other app, you just grab it over from the right, pull it over till you see the little light blue box appear and then drop it and that's where that option is going to appear for you. And if you decide you don't want one, you don't want to go away, click the little trash can, Say yes, you're sure you want to delete it, and it will disappear. Some other neat things that you can do with content. For example, in this content box, I added a link to my email. So I just typed in to email me with any questions and included my email address. Um, and then if you want to hyperlink something, you just highlight whatever you want to hyperlink. Click that link button here. Um, for this one, I would choose email address. I can put in my email. It's going to make it where whenever they click that link, it will take them straight um, to their email so that they can send an email to me. Um, and you also may want to be able to link a web address. So if you just click on web address, you can do the same thing. You can just copy a URL and paste it into this box, and then it will link to wherever you want it to go to. You'll click insert link when you're ready to set the link. Okay, so those are really the basics, um, but there are tons of apps to look through over here, things you might want to add, um, like announcements, if you want to be able to add and take away things after a certain period of time. Um, there's a place where you can add in a calendar if you need, a document so that the document will be um, viewable on the actual page. You can link several files. Um, if you want to embed a video, there's a place to do an embed code as well. And then as you're working, if you want to see what the page looks like, you can just click this preview button up here and it will show you what your club page looks like so far. 
All right, so those are the basics that you need to put together your club page. So good luck getting it put together.